Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm John Luke, the reselling white boy. Today I'm going to do a sales update of things that I've sold on my eBay store. So if you're new around here, I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, looking to go full-time in the future. The last few days on eBay have been fairly slow. Uh, we've still got £405 worth of turnover to pick out, so we will show you what's sold. Uh, and I'll show you in the order they sold in, uh, no particular order, so just the order that they sold in. Just want to say a massive thank you, a massive, massive thank you for 600 subscribers. We're going so fast. I'm just trying to make the content even better with every video. Um, it's now Saturday afternoon, so tomorrow hopefully get to a boot sale. So hopefully get a boot sale video up, which will be cool. Um, I'm not going to be recording at the boot sale yet. I'll be recording, like vlogging the experience, bit of a day in the life, uh, but not the actual boot sale footage. I'm going to purchase a GoPro in the future, uh, in the next couple of weeks, and then hopefully get them rolling out soon. Touch wood that the the, uh, the boot sales will stay on. Uh, obviously, we just don't know what's going to happen with with the coronavirus. Um, you just don't know. Um, I've seen studies. I think the Cambridge University study saying that the the rate of infection or transmission, so to say, is over one in Manchester and Liverpool again. Um, so we'll just have to see, you know, how we get on. Um, and you know, hopefully, hopefully, not just for the sake of the boot sales. Hopefully, we can just get through this and try and you know reopen everything. So before I get into the sales, I'm just going to use my very small. Uh, platform just to say a little something on the black lives matter and all the protests that are going on at the moment um so it's a given that you shouldn't be racist um but nowadays it's not good enough just to not be racist be anti-racist you know if someone says something pull them up on it um if everyone speaks up there will be change i truly believe that but yeah nowadays it's not good enough just to not be racist you've got to be anti-racist because it's just nothing's going to change if it just stays as it is so I'm going to leave a couple of links down below, just a little bit of education on the whole situation. Um, and hopefully one or two might click it. There's a donation link that I will be inside those. It's just to add a little something. I'm trying to do something about it. Obviously, I have a really small platform. Uh, it might not do much, but if one person reads it, that's happy days. So just remember, guys, be nice. Treat people how you want to be treated yourself. All right, we'll just get into the video now. Just a little something to add. So yeah guys, if you do enjoy the video, hit like, hit subscribe. We actually smashed over 80 likes on the last day in the life, which is crazy to me. So yeah, if you can get anywhere near that, that'd be, that'd be amazing. Uh, obviously, links down below to all my Amazon stuff, where I buy all my stuff from a business. And yeah, let's get right into it. So this is going to be the mask that I'm rocking tomorrow. I'm going to be really careful, masked up, gloved up, taking the right precautions. And before I get into the sales, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a couple of pickups that I got. I just nearly forgot about those. But yeah, I got a couple of pickups. I was going to do separate videos or do a day in the life and include this and that. But I'm just going to put them all into this sales video. So we've got a sale and a haul this video. So before I do the sales, I'm just going to get right into this haul. Okie dokie then. What I'm going to do, I've got three pickups. Two from the same person and then one from another person. I have both Facebook pickups. Both picked up the other day. I've got some of the stuff listed and some of it's unlisted at the minute. So this first pickup was £25 and it is a bunch of old sealed games. Um, the guy said he was a, used to be an eBay seller way back when he used to sell these games. So I'll get go through some. So there's three copies of this Nintendo Wii Freeloader. Uh, these sell for about £12 to £15. They're all brand new and sealed. So yeah, with these, I think what it says, it says play your Wii games from any country on your Wii console. So I think it just like a converter type thing. Uh, so yeah, I've got three of those. So that's your money back straight away. We've got two sealed copies of Cooking Mama on the Wii. We have got three copies of Smackdown vs. Raw 2007, all sealed on the PS2. We have got three copies of FIFA 09 on the PS2. Some of these games range from about 10 to 25 pound. FIFA games being a bit less. Uh, this one a little bit more. I think you got these up about 20. We've got one FIFA 08, all sealed. Then we have got a MX versus ATV Untamed, sealed again. Two copies of this Poker 2008 game, sealed again. Uh, we've got PGA 09 sealed, just a little tear on that one at the bottom, but yeah, still sealed. And we've got two FIFA 08s on the PS3. So we've got some DS games next, so we've got My Sims Kingdom. We've got two copies of New International Track and Field. And Need for Speed Undercover. All sealed again. And then we've just got a few more little ones here. So we've got a couple copies of PES 2008. They're sealed. They've actually got like a shrink wrap on those. Uh, and then we've got FIFA 09 and a FIFA 08 on the 360. So yeah, awesome stuff. And then we've got Samurai Warriors. That's sealed on the Wii. And then this is Samurai Warriors on the Wii sealed. But it's half 
half sealed so it's not actually sealed sealed but it's still brand new i'll just sell it as new other um but yeah awesome stuff and then we've just got three games that are actually unsealed we've got singstar rocks singstar bollywood and singstar pie so what i'll do put them in a bundle of three and away we go to be fair a couple of these games sell that's your 25 pound back already it's actually a really odd pickup how many sealed old ps2 ds uh xbox 360 ps3 games you can get it's really random especially for 25 pound i think there's pretty much 25 games here so it's like one pound a unit so yeah it's, it's quite a lucky one it was actually on facebook and it said over one hour ago so i i just messaged saying is this still available but i'm thinking it's gone definitely gone and he still had it and i was like no way so i just went and got him and then i picked up the other lot as well but i actually got another pickup off this same gentleman um so yeah i'll go through that in a moment i'll just put these away so them games were 25 pound and then he didn't have this listed but he just pulled it out when i was there because he said oh what are you doing then i just said i'm just straight up with him i just say well i sell them on for a profit that's how i make a living and he was like oh right you might be interested in something else i've got then um he said i've got this nintendo wii fit board he said it's never been used it's, it's new so i'll just crack it open just show you the contents but yeah he was right literally never been used so it's got the board you've got the batteries and the game all brand new uh he wanted i think he said 30 quid uh, i got him down to 20 so i paid 45 quid for the games and a brand new wii fit board i've got the wii fit board on at 90 pound uh you think you can get more on amazon for these but i'm straight ebay at the minute i'm gonna do amazon in the future to be honest but yeah should be able to get 80 pound for that i've got a watcher or two on that already probably take an offer at 80 something like that or 70 should i say um but yeah just see how it goes see how it goes but yeah really pleased with those pickups obviously the wii fit board 80 quid back uh you've already got double your profit then you've got all the games so there's a good few hundred quid just in that pickup awesome next pickup shout out to joe on this one closet geek uh he helped me out on this one he's big into pokemon and james collects as well helped me out so there's loads of pokemon plushies and he sells them quite regularly just see you know are they worth it I pick these up for 40 pounds you want it 45 put down a fiver and um, happy days there's actually uh, quite a lot of these so i think this is a blastoise i might be saying everything wrong i'm not a massive pokemon guy but yeah that's a tomy one i think that's like one of the best best versions you can get and um, she said this one and this one both from the new york nintendo store so this one's about 35 pound um as you can see um pretty sure it's about 35 pound anyway there's only one in the uk listed at the minute uh because they're all in america and um, but yeah really cool i don't know the name it's like a lowland something uh, i'm not too sure so i'm literally just going to flick through all these show you who they are but i don't know the names so yeah bear with me all right so i'm just going to fly through them all I'll just show you them all these are pretty much all pokemon center ones so we've got this dude bushy tail we have got a pikachu which is actually one with a battery power in there uh, let me just turn him on actually So really cool i've not actually looked into the value of this one yet but that's another tomy one but yeah really cool um i'll just turn him off but yeah 40 pound for the lot this will pretty much return most of that and then the rest is profit so we've got this dude we have got this cool looking dude uh these are all pokemon center ones that one's a little tomy one uh we've got this dude which is a pokemon center one too awesome we have got this swirly dude we have got this green dude so they're all the official ones so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine official ones and then she just included she threw in some unofficial uh, pokemon soft toys and some unofficial minecraft soft toys so i'm just going to do them as two bundles i'll just show you those i'll just pop through all the unofficial ones so i'll do the minecraft ones first so we got, i think this is an ocelot they've all got this mojne tag on but i'm pretty sure it's mojang so yeah mojne which is a bit random but i'll just do these as a bundle like you say so we've got a ocelot we've got a pig they're all a little bit disproportionate they're not they don't really look great like i know they're supposed to have big heads and small bodies but they just look a bit weird um we've got a creeper we have got a squid we've got an instagram comment highlander deals if you're watching just seen that we have got a mushroom cow 
and that's a lot of those so there's five three four five six of those so i'll just put them on auction and then we just got these unofficial uh pokemon ones which are literally just made in china so i'll probably bundle these in an auction as well so we've got this dude that dude that dude and then them two guys so yeah they'll just go in a little bundle uh probably for scraps not sure how much people will pay for those but you know some people aren't looking for the real thing the kid's a big pokemon fan all there's five teddies there they'll they'll do the job you know what i mean uh all the collectors and people who are really into pokemon are really bothered about the authenticity of stuff i'll sell them i'll state you know they're not official pokemon but they do the job All right, so my dad's working hard on the shed at the minute, just sorting them walls out. And then I'm going to help him out with the flooring and stuff. And then hopefully get stuff moved in tomorrow. It's not going to be finished. Uh, the electrics and stuff still need doing. We've still got a plug down there. But yeah, there'll be a few bits that need doing. But I just want to get things in. And then I can operate a little bit smoother in there. So let's get into some sales. The first sale of the video is this Velociraptor Charlie Jurassic World figure. As you can see, little green dude, Jurassic World. George Russell like this one. Likes his Jurassic Park and Jurassic World stuff. So this is from the Dino Rivals series. Uh, that was £22.99 for that one. Uh, paid £7.99. Uh, got a couple of those. So yeah, one of those sold. Then another one actually sold after that. Uh, but they actually cancelled uh, for some reason. I think they bought the wrong one or something. Wrong one. But yeah, uh, £22.99. Happy days. Next ones, we've got some more Call of Duty Pops. Obviously, I'm well into profit with this bundle now. But we got £28.99 for these two. Uh, these set me back originally, I think it was £5 a pop. Um, so yeah, we're well into profit. We sold a singular pop for £40 and then another couple for like £30-£40 anyway. So we're well into profit with these. But yeah, we've got the Monkey Bomb and the Spaceland Zombie. So the next sale, we're going to go into the first clothing sale of the video. This sale was from the Mystery Box. Um, I'm well into profit with that now. But it is a K-Way jacket. So you can see there, the little K-Way zip. The K-Way logo is actually rubbed off. It's actually a vintage one. This thing is from the late 90s, early 2000s. But yeah, the actual um, logo's rubbed off. It's in alright condition. I did give it a nice clean, cleaned it up. There was a few marks on it originally. We got £18 for this. Um, so it's not great for a K-Way jacket. But we're well into profit with that bundle anyway now. It's been sitting for a while. I think because the logo's gone, everyone just thinks it's a little bit fake. Even though it's not. So the next sale after the K-Way is another piece of clothing from another mystery box. So yeah, obviously we're in profit, like I said. This one is a Diesel Industry denim jacket. So as you can see there, Diesel Industry. Um, it's a very large size. What was it? Is it a double XL? Yeah, double XL. Really big. It covers the camera. But yeah, it's a nice jacket. I give it a nice clean up, but it's got a leather collar. And you can see there, Diesel. Um, so yeah, it's quite a vintage one. We did get £31.99 for that, which is really nice. Um, it's in really decent condition for its age. Uh, give it a nice clean up. And we've sold that really well. With the mystery box items, I think it broke down to £1 to £2 an item. So yeah, happy days. So I'm really excited about the Imaginex sales in this video. Uh, it's really paying off with those bundles now. But the first one of the video, we have got this Black Panther figure. As you can see with his big purple hands. And we have got... The Black Panther like robot, big robot cat. What did they actually put? It's the Black Panther bot vehicle. So yeah, really cool. Uh, these came in a bundle. You've seen a couple of those bundles before. Um, I think I got a bundle for about £35, pounds, something like that. And then a bundle for like a fiver. But yeah, just this one figure and this little this little bot, we got £22.99 for. So yeah, really cool. Look out for your Imaginext. Uh, there is really good money in those. Next sale after that, it's another 3DS game from that big DS bundle I got. Got £12.99 for Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D on the 3DS. Nice condition. Again, still got its uh, little code that can't be used anymore, which is a shame. But yeah, nice quick flip on that one. So after the Donkey Kong sale, we have got a Call of Duty Ghost action figure sale uh, made by McFarlane. I uh, paid £10 for these and I've been selling them for £23.99. Uh, you've seen these plenty on my channel now. 
but I may as well do these at once. I sold two of these, uh, both for twenty three ninety nine. Uh, I think one was a couple of days ago, one was yesterday, something like that. So yeah, really happy days. Got none of them left now, so I'm going to be keeping my eyes out for more. So the next sale, another RA sale, and it is a Transformers Bumblebee figure. Uh, I think it's the clunker version. Yeah, clunker Bumblebee, as you can see. Um, paid £10 for this, I believe. I think it was £10. And I got £26.99 for this one. Made by Tomy. Same brand as the Pokemon plushies. But yeah, awesome stuff. Nice quick flip. Good old RA, keeping me ticking. This sale is just moving old stock on. So it is a King Louie Fairy Tale Friends. Fairy Tale Friends, should I say. Soft tie with his tag. Um, I think I paid a pound for this uh, quite a few months ago. Um, we got seven ninety nine for him. So no profit really in that, but just getting it back in the bank. Sometimes you think, oh, brand new Disney soft tie. Got the tag on, worth a pound. Not all, not always the case, but yeah, not losing any money. A couple of pound profit in it, but yeah, good to see him move. Pretty cool figure, well, cool figure. Pretty cool soft tie, but yeah, not worth the money. So next one is the Imagine X figures again. I uh, picked these up uh, a couple of days ago. You've seen in the day in the life. I sold one a few days before and picked up another two. These ones I got twenty seven ninety nine for. Uh, the last ones I got twenty four ninety nine for. So I pushed a little high with these, but yeah, sold pretty quick. We've got one left. So if you're interested, go and have a look. But yeah, uh, paid twelve ninety nine for that. So yeah, oh, double my money, just a little bit over. About double my money after fees and stuff, which is cool. So around halfway through the sales now. If you are enjoying the video, hit like, hit subscribe. Over half of you guys are subscribed. About fifty one percent subscribed. Forty nine percent aren't subscribed. So yeah, loads of you aren't subscribed. Hit that button, hit the bell, and obviously we'll get some more content rolling really soon. So we've got another clothing sale. It is this Kangol zip-up from the mystery box, as you can see there. Uh, from the same mystery box as I was speaking about before. Well into profit with that. Not in great condition, quite used. Um, so yeah, just sold it, get rid. I uh, got $9.99 for that. So yeah, happy days moving that on, which is cool. After that, we sold a Big Brain Academy on the Wii. Um, so yeah. Just your standard Big Brain Academy game. I uh, got this in a Wii bundle. Thought I'd move it on on its own when Wii's were really hot. Uh, it kind of went through that period. So we've still got 4 99 for it. So yeah, get it gone. After that, we have got a Tesco soft tie. It's the Chilean Friends Large Pod the Bear. So yeah, there you go. Really old school Tesco logo. Um, so yeah, I actually sold an Iceland orangutan, didn't I, to a subscriber. So this is a Tesco bear they did quite a few of them pretty cool but yeah no money in them got 8.99 i think i paid a pound when i'm in a charity shop i always have a dig through the soft toys and think oh tesco might grab that uh just a little random thing probably won't pick them up again but yeah for a pound into nine pound a couple pound postage there's a few quid in it so the next sale is ra you guessed it it's this doctor who cybermen pack with the seventh doctor i believe which is pretty cool um Pick these up for £9, I believe, because they are £10, but my mum was with me. Got NHS discount, which was cool. Um, so, yeah, I got £26.99 for this, so really good profit. These will move throughout the year. Not really fast sellers, but they will sell pretty well. I sold by a promoted listing of 1%, so that cost me, what, 27p uh, to pay for. But, yeah, sold in the end, which is cool. Got plenty of those. If you are interested, links in the description. After that, we sold another piece of clothing from the mystery box. So that is a Lonsdale zip-up. Really small women's one. Not great condition, but I thought it was worth selling on its own. Someone would want it, so I got $6.99 for that. Could have gone in a weighing bag. Could have been binned. But yeah, we cleaned it up. We sold it. After the Lonsdale jacket, we got a Sonic and Sega on the 360 Banjo-Kazooie Racing. Uh, that's complete with manual, and um, we got $9.99 for that. That just came in a standard bundle yet again. So the next sale, we have got another pre-owned Imaginex sale, which is really cool. So this one is a blue Power Ranger with a Triceratops bot vehicle. He's just fell out, but there he is. Little gent. This came in the same bundle as the last. Uh, I think it was about £35, I said. But yeah. Last one was $22.99, I think. This one is $19.99, just for the figure and the small vehicle. Not sure what the year is on these. Um, let me just have a look. So, yeah, the year on these ones are 2015. Um, so, yeah, not too long ago, but, yeah, still getting really good price. After that, 
another clear out of some old stock. It is a audio book. I think it's a cassette tape version. Yeah. So yeah, really old school audio book, as you can see. Uh, I think whoop, I think I paid a pound or two for this. Um, probably a pound um, in a large bundle. Managed to get rid of one for eight forty nine. Yet again, not major profit, but yeah, just glad to get it out, save some space, money back in the bank, and uh, yeah, just get it out, really. After that, you guessed it again, it's more RA. RA mad today. So in the previous sales, we've had a lot of games, uh, a lot of toys and stuff, pre-owned stuff. This time, a lot of RA and a lot of clothes. So yeah, it always varies with every week. Um, so yeah, this one is a WWE battle pack. That is Goldberg and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Really cool pack. Um... Probably not a great pickup. This I paid seventeen ninety nine for it, and I sold it for twenty nine ninety nine. So yeah, for the actual investment of twenty pound, well eighteen pound, um, probably about eight nine pound after after fees. Obviously, if you sold these fast and frequently, it'd be great. I just thought I'd do a little test to see if I could get a bit more than that. I think I took an offer in the end at twenty nine ninety nine, but yeah, cool. Glad to get it back on my account. At the end of the day, it's a thirty pound sale. So including the ghost figure, there's four sales left, but I've already shown you the ghost figure. So the fourth to last or third to last sale of the video is this wash black Lee Cooper fur jacket. It's really washed. It's really well worn. Um, and it's one of those that could have gone back into a weighing bag. It looks really bad on the camera. It's not actually that bad, but yeah, it looks really bad on the camera. One of those from the mystery box, um, which wasn't that great. Uh, it could have could have been in the bin, could have gone in the weighing bag, could have gone to a charity shop. But we got seven ninety nine for it. Get it out the door. So a couple pound back in the bank account. After that, we have just got a how many grams was it? Four hundred and twenty six grams of Lego wheels, mostly small. So yeah, these were from a pretty much a personal collection from years ago from a my old, some of my old Lego sets. Um, so yeah, not really a resale one. But yeah, I got seven ninety nine for those. Not a great money, but it's money going back into the bank. And then the last one, which was today, this morning, I think. Yeah, it's these Levi's or Levis, however you want to say it. Women's flare jeans. As you can see, I think it was 28 waist, was it? Yeah, 28 waist, 34 length. So yeah, really nice pair of Levis. Levi, I say Levi's. Let me know down below what you say. If you can spell it out how you say it anyway. But yeah, flare jeans, nice condition. Got 13.99 for those. And I think I paid a pound or two. Probably about a year ago now, a couple of years ago. Just never got around to listing them. But yeah, that's all the sales from today. Before I end the video, I just want to let you know I'm going to be going live. Um, it might be tomorrow night, it might be tonight, depending when you're watching, depending when I upload it. But I'm going to be on Closet UK's channel with possibly Kieran, James, Ian. Uh, not too sure who will be on, but we're going to have a nice chat. Hopefully, preview some of my car boot pickups. If I do get there tomorrow morning, hopefully I do. Hopefully it's on and um, we'll see. But yeah, then I'll do a full video of what I do pick up at the car boot. Links for that stream and all those guys are in the description, along with my Amazon links. Also, don't remember the Black Lives Matter campaign stuff is also down there. Feel free to have a look. Honestly, take five minutes. It's really good to look. So guys, I've been John Luke, the reselling white boy. Hope you're all well. Take care of yourselves. Have a really good weekend and I'll see you next time. Peace out.